Trubisky on first down. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked by Tracy Walker. Through an opening, and there he goes. And he will score. Touchdown, Lions. Well, partner, I do know this. If you're a defensive back, you have more chances to make a team now than ever because people are using five defensive backs, six defensive back packages. Not exclusively, but way more than before. That was a nickel package there, and what a pickoff. Why is that? Why are they using that more? Because more people are throwing the ball on earlier downs than ever before. This has become a passing league, and because of that, more defensive backs on the field on most plays. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards at their own 21-yard line. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And yeah, last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack that offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last that didn't bother you too much last time? No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. The loss of three on that first down pass play. Now second and 13. Here's Trubisky to throw. And this is incomplete. Allen Robinson, the intended receiver. And it'll bring up third down. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap. He locked in on his target. But he was covered quite well. And that one's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Trubisky. The screen pass here to Cole, and he'll be stopped short of the first down as they rally to tackle him at about the 28. They pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. On third down, you'll give them that. You just want to make sure that you play the first down line. They were able to get him down and force the punt. will take over. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. From the 36, Stafford, and that is incomplete. Nowadays, quarterbacks don't mind throwing in the coverage because of the confidence they have in their receivers to come down with the ball. But sometimes you have to be careful you don't get too confident and throw an interception. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. A shotgun snap for Stafford. Throwing deep for... It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown, Detroit. Kenny Galladay, 64 yards. And the Lions were able to grow their lead. But early on, they have all facets of the game working in tandem. Yeah, you get the defensive touchdown early, give you the first score. And then your offense piggybacks on top of that and gets their own. And any coach we've ever talked to, and we've had that conversation with him prior to the game, they always say, you know, if we can score on defense or special teams, that gives us like a 95% chance of winning the game. I don't know if that number's correct, but it certainly does tend to play out that way, doesn't it? It does.
The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And it's been a rocky start for them thus far. They had the turnover and then the punt on those first two drives. So there is optimism because they've improved, right? The turnover, you just noted it. The punt's, on the first better. Drive. The punt's better than the turnover. The punt is better on the second one. Now they're hoping to turn it into first downs and hopefully points. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Second and six at the 29-yard line. From the gun, it's Trubisky. Nick in middle, and it's incomplete. It was Desmond Trufant right there, step for step in coverage. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent. And that allows you to make a play on it, and oftentimes, knock it away. It's complete to Robinson. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Already, he's top 50 receiving yards in this first quarter. And he's got a first down. First down. Offensive line. Sometimes it's just positioning. On that play, it didn't matter about positioning or being physical. The defensive front, they outleveraged them and won the battle. This time, Trubisky will throw. That's Cordero Patterson hauling it in. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 43. 11 yards there, first down. First down, Bears. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Trubisky gives to Cohen. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. Second down at the 41. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Now Trubisky going out of the backfield, and he's going to be down at the 35. Gain of seven. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big, but in the end, give some credit to the defense, finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. Third and two. Now Trubisky. They'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And that one goes incomplete on the drop. That's what he definitely normally catches. Fourth down. Fourth down. Would have been right at about a 52-yard field goal try, but no, they are going to go for this thing on fourth down. From the shotgun is Trubisky. And they'll go back to Robinson. This time he's got him. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. A defensive breakdown allows a pickup of 16 on fourth down. First down, Chicago. From the red zone now, here's Trubisky on first down. Gets this to his running back, Tariq Cohen. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Complete. It's a gain of seven, and it's a second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. And that is caught. Touchdown, Bears. Complete. 
Cordero Patterson there to make the grab. And the Bears have cut it to within a score. And that one makes it 14 to 7. Makes the score Lions 14, Bears 7. Eddie Pinheiro to kick off for Chicago. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And this will make it into the end zone. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out, just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. From the 27, Stafford, and he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. It's Khalil Mack that time, shooting in there to get him to the ground. 14 yards, brings up third down. Third and long, it's Stafford. That's Tight end TJ Hawkinson. And he'll get it up to the 33 yard line. Give him 19 on the play, but they will still come up a bit short. And now it's fourth down. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And it'll be first and 10 Bears from deep in their own territory. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go up and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Brings up second and seven. From the 16, Trubisky. And he rifles one incomplete. Trying to get it to Tariq Cohen out of the backfield. And it's third down. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. On third down, Trubisky. Buying time to his left. He may try and run for this. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Trubisky on first down. And this is caught. It's Jimmy Graham. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Jimmy Graham. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Now they'll run it with Cohen. 
And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now Trubisky. Robinson's got it. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Give them 19 there as the drive marches forward. Now it's Trubisky. They'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Now the Bears are going to use the second of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. On first and 10, it's Trubisky. seconds now to go. Well, sometimes those cliches really come true, don't they, when they talk about it takes all 11 to play good defense. We've seen that in this ball game. I think the secondary has to be singled out, though. They are in the presence of every receiver whenever the ball's thrown, and this one, they help force another incompletion. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Again, it's Trubisky. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Throwing once more, it's Trubisky. And he's got his man, that's Robinson. Touchdown, Bears. To Allen Robinson. Allen Robinson in the final seconds of the first half. And the Bears are an extra point away from tying the football game. Now we've got a good one, Bruin. We're all knotted up at 14. Ties the game at 14. Eddie Pinheiro to kick off for Chicago. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Lions take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Time here for likely one play, and then these two teams will head to the locker room all even. And you know the play callers just feeling it right now. Let's go ahead and go for this one. A big shot down. No, no, no. Guarantee the head coach is like, don't get crazy. Take the knee. Let's get out of here. Time game will just start all over. And it drops down incomplete. Jaylen Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. A final shot before the break. Stanford. He's going to let it go again. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, we'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. Takes this about five yards deep. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. Bears take over first and 10 at their own 21-yard line. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game, we'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing. Gotta wonder what adjustments are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side. But here, do you change up anything on this opening drive? Not offensively, you don't. You got everything going your way. You've probably prepared for maybe some change-ups you might expect, but overall, you like what your game plan showing you. nowhere. He'll lose 
yardage back at the 17. Tackle that second down play. Nets a minus four. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. And the Lions going with an extra DB here on third down. Out of the gun, Trubisky. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Justin Coleman and his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. The Lions show an opening drive interception to begin this second half. And just think about the time you spent in the locker room going over what you expected to do in the second half. Not the way they saw it, not the way they drew it up. You find out this is something that you can't just edit, right? There's no rewrite here. This is live, and now they've got to find a way out of this hole. He was brought down at the 28-yard line. A gain of four. It's now second and six. Again, it's Johnson. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. He was well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. They had great starting position to begin the drive, but now they look up at a third and five. There's Stafford. Catch is made by Hawkinson, the tight end. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. Now fourth down and one. It would be a very makeable field goal try from here, but instead they're going to go for it. Now Scarborough, and he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19-yard line. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. First and 10 at the 19-yard line. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. On first and 10, Stafford. He finds his man, Johnson. And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. From 19 yards away. And the Lions have taken the lead. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. But oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And this will make it into the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Bears take over first and 10 at their own 21-yard line. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. They'll look for a drive to tie this up, down 21-14 as they have it first and 10. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Play action. It's Trubisky. And he'll complete this one to Patterson. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Throwing here, Trubisky. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit. 
even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. Second and ten now. It's Trubisky. And oh, this is taken in one-handed. What a catch. Over 100 yards receiving for him now in the opener. And it's a first down. Got to love the catch. I think you got to love the gloves as well. <laughs> yeah, these one-handed catches, that was great. And they're fun. They become a little more ho-hum, aren't they? Yeah, they really are. And I know that it sounds like we're taking credit away from the guys, and we don't mean that at all. They really work hard on this one-handed catch thing. I think the gloves have to be helping in a big way. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. Now this time he'll look to throw. It's complete to Robinson. And he is able to take this way down into Detroit territory. Complete to Alex. Trubisky hitting yeah, Robinson yeah, for a big one. Yards. 43 yards. And the Bears first down. going to do it. Clock hits zeros. They're not going to get another playoff. Time has run out on this third quarter. So we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. On first down, Trubisky. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. It's Desmond Trufant. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. They're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. Trufant on the coverage. They begin the drive with Johnson. And he will forge his way forward only up to the two-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. They go to Johnson again. And he will double the space they have to work with as they take it from the two to the four. The Lions on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This will be third and six. Stafford going to give this one off to Johnson. And he's going to be taken down shy of the five-yard line. A tight game like this. Such a tough spot for the offense to be in, even though they have the lead, Charles, back up so close to their goal line. They got to Oh, they come up. And he will score. Touchdown, Chicago. Well, they didn't have their normal cushion there in order to punt the ball away. It leads to a lot of anxiety for the team kicking the football. But for the punter, you know that you've got to get rid of that quickly there. Not quick enough. And also, not stepping behind you and stepping over the end line for a safety. That one gets blocked, and it's six points. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And an important one that is, as we are all tied now early in this fourth quarter. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. And this will make it into the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. 25-yard line. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And the question, can they turn that interception into points? A tie game. And this is going to be intercepted. Taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. Taken down. I don't think any of us were surprised that they decided to start this drive on the ground after the last two drives ended in interceptions. Unfortunately, though, not a lot going on on that first play. Yeah, I think the anticipation was felt also by the defense. On second and seven, Trubisky. And now he's going to use his legs. Inside the 10, mark him down at the 9. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. 
A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. From the gun, it's Trubisky. And he's got his man. That's Robinson. Touchdown, Bears. Complete to number 12. Three touchdown passes now for Mitchell Trubisky. And the Bears use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. And it's good. That makes it a 28-21 game. Bears 28, Lions 21. Eddie Pinheiro to kick off for Chicago. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And this will make it into the end zone. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And now after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. And he's going to keep it here. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead, he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that into a positive gain. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Late in the game, defense trying to avoid a big play. He's able to work out of the passing game, turn it into a run, pick up the first, and stop the clock as well. And you know in this situation, everything is sped up. The intensity, the thinking, everyone's movements. But for a quarterback, he has to continue to do what we call flat line. Level in everything he does and read the clock, feel it in the pocket, and go at the appropriate time. There defensively was Buster screen to knock it away. Here's second and ten. to throw again. Stafford. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. That's to his running back, carry on Johnson. And he gets this only to the 41, not near enough for the first. Five yards, not enough, and it'll be fourth down. Just week one, but already plenty of intrigue with the games going on, and this one no different as we come up on a first and ten. They'll try a little trickery here on the end around. Julian O'Quara there to bring him down. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. At the 28-yard line. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and 10. Big play coming up. Here's third and 10. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as that look to throw. And he knocks the ball away. And he falls incomplete. There 
there's something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed, you do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they run successful. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Never had a chance. Well to the right. No good. And this score will stay right where it is. The things just got interesting. They tried for the long field goal there to salt this one away. They don't get it. And now a little time for the other guys to mount a late drive. Well, they thought their kicker would put it through the post and finish this one off. I'm sure they discussed pooch punting it and letting their defense take over. Well, the defense now has to make it stand up but they didn't get the best field position because the ball comes back to the line of scrimmage. Good work after the catch. Gets him 15 and a first down. First and 10 at the 49-yard line. Now Stafford. Flushed out right. Incomplete. I see you nodding your head up and down. That's a very heady decision at this stage of the game. Out of the pocket, nowhere to go. Just get rid of it. That's a smart play because you're not worried about your completion percentage and you're also not trying to force it into bad traffic as well. Throw the ball away, live to fight another down. Stafford now to throw. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Eddie Jackson picks it. And he will take this across midfield and down to the 48 yard line. The partner's bad enough when you just can't hold on to the football. But when your quarterback's throwing it to the other team, that's three interceptions now, four turnovers for the game. You really have no chance to win the football game. After the interception, here's Trubisky. Now leave it for Cohen, complete. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. At the Lions. The screen pass here to Cohen. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. Set of downs, first and ten after roughing the passer. They run. This is Cohen. Trey Flowers there on the tackle. Well, sometimes as a running back, you've got to be able to improvise when the hole's not where you expect it to be. But in this case, there wasn't any improvisation that he could do that was going to work. Kind of like if you're trying to be a comedian on open mic night at the improv, and you run into a tough crowd. And a pretty good run as he'll get this down close to a first at the Lions 21. So this one in the win column for the Chicago Bears. And partner, I must say, good to see you again. Been too long. And it's good to have football back, isn't it? Didn't you see me in preseason? Weren't we together in preseason? Yeah, but preseason, you know, it's preseason. This is week one. Oh, you're trying to say real football. Yeah, real football. Not preseason football yeah. where we shake down the rosters and figure out who's going to play and maybe the starters don't play as much. Now it's the front line guys from the first whistle. Yeah, I tuned you out in the preseason. <laughs> and now I'm listening to you. So for the Bears, it was a hard... Girls. 
was head to toe designer, designer. Girl, little bit, little bit. Uh, let me feel myself a little bit. Touch a macho with a rockin' black clothes. Whip around that Batmobile, duckin' 5 -0. If you step to me, then be prepared for smoke, little bro. Uh, let me fill myself a little bit. Uh, let me blow this down a little bit. Drip, little bit, little bit. Uh, let me fill myself a little bit. Little bit, little bit. You ain't talking big. Get out my way, little bit.